Daytime television. We've all been there at some point or another. Whether you're sick at home or simply recovering from a bad breakup, Daytime TV kept us company and as a bonus, Daytime Soaps had some of the most handsome actors. In this week's video, I'm counting down my picks for the top 10 Daytime actors. Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. Joshua Morrow started his acting career in 1994, when he was cast in the role of Nicholas Newman on The Young and the Restless. Not only is he handsome, but he also embraces the nerd inside of him, and he has admitted that he is a huge Star Wars fan, with Han Solo being his favorite Star Wars character. Good girl. I'll take her. Thanks, buddy. Though most of his career consists of appearing on The Young and the Restless, he has several movie credits to his name and even once fronted the soul pop music boy band 3D, which disbanded in 2001. So he can sing and act. Oh, sorry, I didn't know the camera was still recording. Ricky Paul Golden made his television debut at the age of three when he appeared in an episode of the children's program Rumpa Room in 1968. His acting career only officially started in 1985 when he starred in the sitcom Hail to the Chief, playing the son of the first female president of the United States. I wonder if the United States will ever see its first female president. Whatever you do, don't waste your vote in the upcoming elections. That's it. I'm running for president. After Hail to the Chief, he joined the cast of the soap operas Another World, All My Children and Bold and the Beautiful. Not only is he an accomplished TV actor, he also made several appearances on Broadway, including Grease. Oh, Grease Lightning! And if that's not impressive enough, his father is the world famous hypnotist Paul Golden. Hi, what's going on? I'm the Buzzworthy radio guy. Yes, we, uh, that's a, did we have a little war, you and me? Did not we, really, no. We didn't have a war. No. Did we have a war? In 1999, Galen Guerin landed the role in an upcoming daytime soap opera called Passions. But his career took off long before the turn of the century made him a star. At the age of 18, he moved to New York to start a modeling career and even traveled across Europe as a model for a year. Yeah, as it should be. He was named as one of People Magazine's 50 most beautiful people in the world back in 2000. And it's easy to see why people fell in love with him. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please remember to click like and subscribe. I'll be uploading more entertaining videos like this one in 2024, including a new series where I will be reenacting some of the most iconic moments from the 80s and 90s. Coming in at number 7 on this list is another model turned actor, Don Diamond, whose first acting role was that of Carlo Forenza on Days of Our Lives back in 1984. Oh come on, you can't be sure about this. He moved on to other projects including The Young and the Restless. He initially joined the show in 1985 and left the cast in 1996, but returned in 1998. He was also chosen as one of People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People in 1999. No wait, 1990. And just a few years before that, he appeared as a cover model for the March 1988 issue of Playgirl magazine. I bet you didn't know that, or did you? Do you still have your copy of this Playboy magazine? Let me know in the comments. This actor is best known for his role of Tony Santos on the CBA soap opera Guiding Light from August 2000 until August 2003. He made his acting debut in the 1996 movie The Last Home Run and even had a guest role on the hugely successful teen horror TV series Buffy the Vampire Slayer. He has several TV and movie credits to his name including 2009's Ready or Not, 2015's Invitation, All My Children, Days of Our Lives and Young and the Restless. Mark Consuelos is best known for his portrayal of Mateo Santos on the ABC soap All My Children, which he joined in 1995. He went on to star in some impressive TV series of the time, including Missing, American Horror Story, and the hugely popular Riverdale. There are two Archie Andrews. There's the one who saved my life at the hospital after I'd been shot. And then there's the other Archie, who pointed a gun at my head. Something most people don't know about him is that even though he was born in Spain, he doesn't speak Spanish, he speaks Italian. I didn't know that! And that he taught himself to speak English by watching American TV shows. No, he said TV was good for nothing. 
Before breaking out as an actor on All My Children, he worked in Florida as a male exotic dancer at the club called Stingers in the mid-90s. A male exotic dancer. His stage name was Meat. I wonder why. Before hunting demons in the popular TV show Supernatural, Jensen Ackles joined the cast of the NBC soap opera Days of Our Lives as Eric Brady in 1997. He auditioned for the role of Eric several times before landing the role. I don't know, I'm just kind of taking it all in. This is still, still pretty amazing to me. I haven't gotten used to it yet. The show made him a teen idol and even got him nominated for the Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Younger Actor in a Drama Series. And if you don't know by now, he went on to become a very successful actor as well as singer. That is correct, he's a singer as well. He's the lead singer of the rock band called Radio Company and they've released three albums with some songs being featured in the TV series Supernatural. Shamar Moore's most notable role is that of Malcolm Winters on The Young and the Restless from 1994 to the early 2000s. Before the acting bug bit him, he worked as a model during his college years. This is probably not surprising to a lot of my viewers because, I mean, just look at him. Showing that modeling isn't just for 18 to 25 year old men, Moore appeared on the March 2009 issue of Men Fitness magazine and proved to any doubters out there that he still has what it takes. You have plans tomorrow night? <laughs> you know, actually, um, I was thinking about asking this woman that I work with out to dinner. The handsome Puerto Rican singer and songwriter Ricky Martin did a bit of acting before he made it big as a solo artist. From 1984 to 1989, he was a member of the hugely successful boy band Munedo. And when he finally got too old to be in the band, he left the band in 1990 to pursue other projects. And he was offered a role in the Mexican telenovela Alcanzar Una Estrada. I don't speak Spanish. Sounds correct. He eventually went on to portray Miguel Morez on General Hospital between 1994 and 1995. But let's face it, Ricky Martin is best known for his Latin beats and catchy English and catchy English lyrics. And catchy English lyrics which made him an international star back in the late 1990s. He has released 10 studio albums, with the last one being released in 2015. Do you agree that Ricky Martin belongs on his list? Let me know in the comments. And finally at number 1 is Antonio Sabara Jr., who first found fame in the 1990s as an underwear model for Calvin Klein, and eventually for starring in the soap opera General Hospital from 1992 to 1995. His first acting role can basically be considered when he appeared in Janet Jackson's music video for the 1990 single Love Will Never Do Without You. He went on to pose for the cover of Playgirl magazine in 1993, which eventually led to him becoming a full-time model and even modeling for Calvin Klein. The 90-foot billboard in Times Square of him with a defiantly seductive look in his eyes and almost no clothes on, only black bikini briefs, definitely made a couple of heads turn. And casting directors take note of him. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe. That way you'll stay up to date as soon as I post a new video. I post new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. For a similar video to this one that I specifically picked out for you, click on this link or try the YouTube suggestion. <laughs>